In this tutorial we're going to cover the basics of texture in your environment. We started off a couple of tutorials ago using developer textures to define our rooms. Developer textures are very useful in the beginning stages of your creation because they let you focus on gameplay and layout and not worry about the visual quality of your map. To begin texturing our environment we need to enable the toggle texture application tool. So if we click on this we have the face edit sheet come up and it allows us to select textures on individual brushes and it allows us to manipulate the scale texture shifts it allows us to justify or rotate those textures we can browse through additional textures we can replace them and we can align them by left clicking and selecting the textures that we currently have we can manipulate those textures using these input boxes so let's go ahead and start replacing some of these textures we could use the replace tool and by using the replace tool it will load in the current texture that you have selected and by clicking the replace it tells you to find this developer texture and we can replace with another texture this will replace all textures that are using this developer texture measure wall and it will replace with the chosen new texture so by clicking on the browse we open up texture browser and in here we can select and filter different textures that we want to find. Counter-Strike Global Offensive gives us hundreds if not thousands of different textures that we can use. So by filtering we can narrow down exactly what we want to look through. So we can tap in wall. This gives us available wall textures. Or we can tap in ceiling. We can tap in any other filter name and it'll give us more narrowed down version of what is available. Once you see the texture that you like, you simply double click. It will load in the replaceable texture and we can click OK. It will replace all those textures. We can do the same thing with the floor and the ceiling, but we're going to cover a different way of texturing these. We're going to do them individually. And we're going to also manually retexture the, uh, the hallways and the other room. So this is a quick way to apply and change uh, your developer textures, but you still need to go through and retexture so you don't have the same texture everywhere. So this is uh, a useful function if you have a limited set of texture that you want to replace but on a, on a larger scale such as developer texture this may not work as you want it to. So what we're gonna do we're going to manually now retexture some of these walls and the ceiling and the floor. So let's go ahead and browse and let's filter wall and let's choose something else something else that we like that we may, we may want to have our walls let's choose something more for interiors a lot of these are exterior walls now let's choose this plaster red wall so by double clicking we set this texture and to apply the texture to already created BSP brushes we need to right click to apply to the BSP face and we can fly around the environment with the face edit sheet open we can just quickly right click in and apply those textures now, as you can see these textures are not aligned properly so what we need to do is we would need to select each face and with the texture highlighted we can texture scale on X or Y we can texture shift if we need to align more precisely where those textures are going to be aligned between different brushes but the most simplest way is to justify. We can justify left, justify right. We can hit fit, which will stretch the entire texture across our BSP brush. Uh, this is not what we want. But we can justify top, bottom, and center. So I'm going to justify top. So now that we have one face aligned, selecting the aligned face, we can apply the same alignment to the rest of the brushes that are misaligned. So by selecting it, this will set all the texture scale and the texture shifts in our input boxes. So by left clicking selecting and then right clicking on another BSP wall, this will keep the same alignment on all of the brushes for that texture. And this will align all the faces around our environment a lot quicker. If we need to select multiple texture faces, left click once, hold down control, and then left click again to select multiple face textures to add to a selection. If we need to remove, we simply control left click again and it will remove from that selection. So if we go ahead and zoom in a little closer here, 
uh, we can see that uh, this texture is should be moved over a little bit so we would need to texture shift along X a little bit further out so this texture is not going inside the other texture so it looks more believable uh, one thing to note is that we have replaced all our developer textures and we applied the texture for the inside of the wall we do not have the same texture on the outside of the walls or on the inner sides of each wall if you want to texture the entire brush and not a single face we would need to hold down shift and right click to apply the texture to every single face of that brush so we can do that for every brush now hold down shift and making sure that it's on every single face now one thing you noticed is if we go outside of the world we get to see the texture that the player will never see and one of the most important principles when you are creating your map is to keep your map optimized as best as you can and to do that you should not have any texture applied to a face where a player will never see it so for faces that are outside in the world we need to apply a no draw texture this will tell the render to not calculate those faces that are outside of the world to do that we need to go into browse filter no draw and use the no draw texture on the faces that the player will never see now one of the ways you can do that is you can apply to the entire brush and then just texture the face that the player will see with the current texture set to no draw holding down shift right click will apply to the entire brush and all of its faces and then you can just simply left click to select and set the current texture to the red plaster wall and then right click to just the face where the player will see and the rest of the faces will stay as no draw and you can do that for every face and we can go fly back inside hold down shift right click and applying it and again we can replace every every face to a no draw texture and then just apply the texture to the faces that we want click and browse set a no draw click ok and then just retexturing the faces that we want now let's do that the same thing for this brick concrete so selecting it then we want to replace browse no draw ok so now every single brush is set to no draw and then we can safely go and just texture the faces that the player will see now that we have no draw applied let's go ahead and just texture the rest of the environment really quick so let's go ahead and browse and let's filter floor so let's choose this uh, urban tile floor double click it to set it and then right click to apply if we need to scale this a bit let's go 35 scale this up a little higher and then let's apply to the hallways and let's go ceiling browse ceiling here's a nice ceiling tile and apply it here we have our room textured now we can uh, go ahead and expand further into the hallways and uh, into the second room let's go floor let's choose something different now let's go wall let's, uh, for larger rooms if I were to choose something that has a border on the bottom you can see that it repeats itself so if we go ahead and align it to top or bottom let's sort of align it to bottom we can see that we have the top being repeated so for it to align properly so the default is 0.25 by 0.25 so if we were to align this entire texture we would need to have the texture scale either go up or we would need to choose a texture that's repeatable without the border or we would need to slice this PSP brush and retexture the top with something different so it doesn't repeat as we see here so let's choose something else let's choose this plaster wall without the border we can still see that it's being repeated so you want to be careful on large flat surfaces we would need to hide this with uh, additional geometry additional BSP brushes uh, or uh, some props as well as uh, overlays or decals so let's choose something else that's a little less noticeable and then we could retexture our interior of the hallways. So I think at this stage you should be pretty comfortable at texturing your environment and taking it from here. In the next and final beginner series tutorial, I'm going to cover how we can compile and run our map.